first thing that we do in Housing First is um, introduce ourselves and get to know the customer. Um, one thing that has sometimes happened as a result of people people's long-term homelessness and experience through services is that they don't always trust that things could possibly be different and they tend to think that they're going to have the same old sort of experience and the same old pathway. So first of all, actually, we get to know people. We've got a real um, privilege of having very low caseloads. So each worker only works with between five and seven people so they can really get to know the people that um, we're here to support. We then help people explore the idea of a property and what might work for them long term, whether that's um, somewhere that's close to lots of services and places that they know, or whether that's a little bit out of the way um, in a way that they might um, not bump into kind of the negative um, friends and, and acquaintances. So we help people start to think about what they might want from a home. Then we help, pe then we help find that home, we try and find somewhere that meets people's needs. And that's a home that can be a long-term option for them. It's not somewhere where they can only stay for three months or 12 months. It's somewhere where they're going to have their own tenancy. And as long as they're sticking to the terms of that tenancy agreement, that's their home. Each worker, we've got a, a team of service coordinators. So the service coordinators have a caseload. They're kind of the main case holders. Um, and they carry a caseload of between five and seven people. So they've got plenty of time to get to know people. And, and their role is to then help the customers kind of navigate their way into the services that they need and that they're eligible for and that they're entitled to. So that could be help around um, mental health. It could be help around substance misuse. It depends what the customer wants and what they see as their priorities. One of the things that tends to come up very quickly with people is access to physical health services. We work with people who have been sleeping rough um, or in and out of homeless services and their physical health is just appalling and it's really difficult for them to have kind of um, sustained access to primary care services. For example, for wound care, to keep those wounds clean and help them heal well. Um, so one of the priorities often for us is, is access to physical health so that we can do some harm reduction work straight away with people. It's very different from other services. Um, the Housing First principles help with that. So one of, the, um, one of the principles is that housing and support are separate. So that means that if, um, if a tenancy goes wrong, our support continues. We work with people to look at what happened, what could be different next time, and help them find somewhere else to live. Um, also, if someone doesn't need our support anymore, their housing isn't conditional on them engaging with us. If they decide they don't need us anymore and they're sticking to their tenancy agreement, that tenancy's still there. So that's, that's very different from other, for example, different from hostels, different from supported housing services. Another key difference is actually that we don't expect somebody to have resolved their substance misuse issue. We don't expect somebody to be alcohol free before they... Um, can have a, a, a tenancy of their own. We work with people where they're at. Um, and then um, one really important difference with our service is that we've got a lot of people with lived experience who are delivering, who are part of the, part of the service. So um, that's whether it be staff members or whether it be peer mentors. We work with expert citizens to make sure that we've got lots of people with lived experience in the service and we find that absolutely kind of the magic ingredient that really helps build up trust. If you are homeless and other services have not worked, if you find it hard to stick to the rules of hostels or if you don't feel safe, um, if supported housing just isn't quite enough for you, what we can do is something different. We can give you lots of support from a whole team. Um, we can work with you where you're at right now. You don't need to make any changes first and we can help you to find accommodation that suits you, find a home.